Back to Everyday Kentucky. We've had her on the show before, and she is here to share laughter, wit, and an easy recipe for people with a sweet tooth and a little time. That's right. Welcome back to the show, Helena Handbasket. Hi, hi. So good to see both of you, you beautiful people. And I'm so excited that I'm here on National Kissing Day. I'm feeling a little anxious, and my blood pressure feels a little high, so I'm going to be needing some kisses before I leave. Okay. I'm just saying, no. Jim. <laughs> Plenty love to go around, I'm telling you. Now, what happened to your head? Oh, honey. I, well, Mama may have fallen off a stage, um, and she may have dislocated a couple of fingers um, a couple months ago. But I've been going to Commonwealth Hand and Physical Therapy like three times a week, and Greg over there is just taking good care of me. I've never had to pay a man to hold my hand for two hours before, and he hurts. <laughs> he hurts me, but it's getting better. So, you know, it's it's all right. I'm getting over it. I'm. It still hurts a little, but I'm getting over it. I'll be fine. Well, that's good. So you, it worked enough to make this delicious recipe. You got to tell us all about it. Honey, because I'm a little immobile, you know, I can't, I don't have the time. I mean, it takes a lot to put all this together, so I don't have time to be cooking. So I made some fudge for y'all today. Now, it's the easiest fudge in the world. You want me to just jump right in? Yes. I'm going to jump right in. So um, I'm going to take me a little nine by nine pan, and I'm going to line it with foil, and then I'm going to take some of this butter spray, and we're just going to spray it, and we're just just gonna get it all nice and sprayed so nothing sticks. Now, little does people know that this is great for hand lotion if you're running out of hand lotion, or it's a great makeup remover if you don't have any um, oil. So, um, so that was first step. You're a third of the, a fourth of the way there. So then you're gonna take a jar of peanut butter, <laughs> a whole jar of peanut butter, y'all. 18 ounces of peanut butter, and you're gonna put that in a glass bowl, and you're gonna melt that in the microwave for one minute. One minute. Step two. And then you're gonna take creamy dark chocolate fudge frosting. Cake frosting, y'all. Cake frosting. <laughs> Who knew? And you're gonna put that in a separate bowl, and you're gonna microwave that for, you guessed it, one minute. Then, here's the hard part. You gotta take your melted peanut butter, and you gotta take your melted frosting, and you put them both in one bowl together, and you stir and stir and stir, and you know how I like to stir things up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you stir until you can't tell that there's two things in there. You don't want it swirled, honey. Life isn't always about the swirl. Sometimes you, it's about the blend. So you got to get it all blended together and then you pour it in your pan, then you put it in the refrigerator and you chill it for a few hours and then you take it out and you slice it. If you really want to get crazy, you can put a teaspoon of vanilla and it's even more homemade. Now, you're thinking there is no way, Helena, that you just made fudge with two ingredients. Yeah, that's what I was just yes. thinking. Well, honey child, so Notice that there's two different kinds here. Can y'all see my fudge? See, I got two different kinds. <laughs> I got me some peanut butter fudge and I got me some chocolate fudge. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it up here. The, oh, this which camera? camera. That, that, that camera, that, okay. Yeah. There it is. Look at my fudge, honey. <laughs> now, you know what? They're dying to taste this, so I'm gonna let them right now. So, this is the one that I just made, you're, you know, with the chocolate frosting. Uh -huh. I've got one more little tip. The peanut butter fudge, you don't use chocolate frosting, you use cream cheese frosting. So one jar of peanut butter and one thing of cream cheese frosting. Can you believe? It's so good. It is so good. Let me now, try the peanut butter. We have now. your shows on um, screen, so talk about your shows real quickly while oh we have my a, few, gosh. a few seconds left. You know what, honey? I'm, I'm going to be doing an After Pride uh, show at Sound Bar After Pride on Saturday, and then I'm so excited. Tickets just went on sale for the brunch at Epping's um, that I do. It's going to be on July 17th, but the tickets just went on sale yesterday. They usually sell out in 7 to 10 days. So if you want to come to one of my drag brunches, honey, you need to get yourself some tickets. And then we're also going to do drag bingo um, the last Tuesday of every month at Sound Bar. And I would just love for all you beautiful people to come out and hang out with me. It'd just be fabulous. And I expect you all there at some point. Drag bingo, bingo, bingo with drag bingo? Is that yeah. honey, bingo with Mamma. Bingo with Mamma. Right, there I am there. in all my glory. Yeah, whether win or lose, <laughs> just being with you would be perfect. Oh. Right. Thank you so much, Helena. It's National Kissing Day. That's why he said that. He's, want, he's wanting to kiss this face. Well, I can't blame him.